Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death globally, according to the World Health Organization. Here in the greater Memphis area, doctors and researchers are diagnosing and treating that disease every day. Stern Cardiovascular Center is sponsoring our chat today with Dr. Bob Manuel, an interventional cardiologist. That's an interesting title. Uh, Thank you, know, you. Interventional. Okay, so tell me what is a, a venous disease or venous disease? That's right. Uh, venous disease essentially means that the vessels that take blood back to our heart are either leaking or clogged up. And this can lead to um, swelling, varicose veins, and even venous ulcers. This is quite common, but is chronically underdiagnosed, um, especially in our communities here in the Mid-South. What does it do to, if, you know, how do patients know they have it? That's a great question. Many people think they just have big legs, you know, <laughs> so you're here in the South, you have a lot of people say, well, I think I just got big legs from my mom or my dad. But many people actually have this chronic disease with discoloration, swelling, and they have these large prominent veins that can lead to ulcers. The way they know they have it essentially, except for physical exam, is to complain to their doctors about it when they notice these changes and get ultrasounds and other imaging studies to diagnose it. Okay, and, and so you explained some of the symptoms. What is the next step once you know that this is going on? Right. When they come see me, typically, I get the ultrasound like we spoke. Once I diagnose that with the ultrasound, we usually do compression therapy. So that's when we have them wear compression hose, compression socks. I know you can buy these on eBay or Amazon, but we actually like to medically uh, measure them for this and fit them with the right size and make sure that they try the compression therapy for at least three months. In addition, we have special exercises for venous disease that help in improve your circulation. Now, the third thing we do, the third cardinal point, is that some of these patients will need procedures. Um, we try not to do this on, on the front end and because 50% of patients will improve with the compression therapy. Those who need procedures, we do something called venous ablation, where we can go in and actually close the pesky veins that are causing these symptoms. We can do it either foam therapy, glue, or laser. We don't need to strip the veins. It's not like the old days. The procedure takes about 20 minutes or less. It's done in my office and it's quick and you're out the same day. So, and it can give dramatic improvement in these patients. Incredible. Yes. And you know, the, I guess, you know, those, those socks that they wear have different pressure That's so right. you have to talk to a doctor That's right. tell me about um, wounds on people's legs that are not healing yeah that's a chronic problem uh everywhere, but especially here in the Mid-South. You know, a lot of patients have wounds and, you know, some don't even remember how they got it. Some people think they bumped their legs or something. Uh, many wounds can be caused by many things. One of the key things is diabetes, which is very common here, um, thanks to our food. Um, yeah. But outside of diabetes, arterial disease, lack of blood flow to the wound and venous disease, lack of blood flow from the wound can lead to these wounds. When these wounds don't heal, you have to think, do I have the blood flow to help heal the wound? Because remember, if you're stopped up, the antibiotics will never get to the wound. You can scrape all you want at wound care, but if you don't get to the root of the problem, then you can't cure the wound. Okay, you make it so simple. Thank you so much. And we have the information. If you need to reach out to Dr. Manuel, sterncardio.com, and of course, they're located on Wolf River Boulevard. Thank you so much for just making this so easy. And we also wanna thank Stern Cardiovascular Center for sponsoring our chat. Thanks. Thank you.